Hey, baby. Mm. Mm. I told you, you didn't need to wait up for me. <sighs> Those meetings always take forever this time of year. Are you still studying? Baby, your test is the day after tomorrow. You need your sleep. Listen, I know you've been working really hard to get ready, and I know you're going to do your very best. Do I need to put you to bed? Hey, listen, I'm the boss around here, right? You know I love you, and I want what's best for us. So turn that brain off and do what I say, okay? Now let's get you to bed. Mm. Mm. I want you to think about how nice and warm and soft our sheets are. How comfy your pillow is. I don't just mean the one on the bed. I washed everything this morning. So even our pajamas are soft and fresh tonight. Come with me. <laughs> He's still reluctant. All right. You leave me no choice. If you want to do your best on your exam, then we'll have to do this the hard way. Hmm. How observant. How are you going to study if your loving, wonderful boyfriend is straddling your lap, huh? Such a thorny problem. It's almost like that's what I was going for. Baby, you are so smart and so sexy that I want you to know, hey, Eyes up here, look at me. I want you to know, no matter how this test turns out, I'm not the one testing you. You could walk out with the lowest score in the world and I would still be positively crazy about you. Because you're kind. You listen to me. And the way you see things brings so much joy into my life. You could be as dumb as a rock and I'd still be here sitting on your lap arms over your shoulders telling you how dreamy you are. Now, I've got some very, very special chapstick here. Soft, not too waxy. Hmm. I know magic always makes your head spin because it's more symbolic than logical. So let me spell it out for you. I can use the reflection in your eyes to help me put on my chapstick. There's something I like about that. I'm literally using how you see me as an instrument while I look after myself. Do you really have time to think about studying while my hands are roaming around your waist and your thighs? Maybe you shouldn't worry so much about this test and start paying attention to what trouble I'm brewing up for you. Sorry, I didn't mean to say you should worry because you shouldn't have to worry about anything. This is only the most fun kind of trouble I'm going to give you. Another little kiss on your neck. Mm. Isn't that just nice? The faint warmth of my mouth. 
my lips gently pressing against your skin. It tingles a little, doesn't it? <laughs> the warmth lingers like a glowing feeling almost, spreading up your face, down to your collar, tingling, tingling down your spine. Don't worry about putting it into words. All you need to know really is that it feels good. So good. And relaxing. And just let me run my fingers along the back of your neck. I know you like it so. Mm, that leaves you unbalanced, doesn't it? I think I should kiss the other side of your neck just to even you out. <laughs> your eyes are starting to droop, poor dear. So cute how oh, you want to fight this, but... But you can't, sweetie. This little ritual, this slow dance that we're doing of touching and kissing, I'm marking you with my affection and... <laughs> And you're melting like butter. You're trying to be strong, but... Oh. Every kiss makes things even more tingly. Mm. Mm. I like watching it spread through your body. Mm. All your tension fleeing your body. Going down your chest into your arms, your legs being chased away by this relaxing magic. I'm running out of space to kiss you. And then I should start kissing below your neck. And of course, that just deepens your feelings of bliss. Your relaxation is like a wheel that only turns one way. The calm, tingly feeling just grows inside you. Don't you think my kisses are nice? Do you remember what you were doing? Sorry, doesn't even bother you because you're too busy. Enjoying how relaxed you are. From the top of your head down to the tips of your toes. <sighs> you might start losing track. Are you awake or are you asleep right now? Your eyes are getting so heavy, aren't they? You might not have noticed before, but now that you're thinking about it, it's just too hard to keep them open. No, there's much for you to see. You can just listen to my voice. Mm. <laughs> and enjoy my sweet little kisses. They're going to take you to dreamland, and I've got something special for you. I know you can't see it, so I'll just tell you what it is. I've got a little glass bottle just for you. It's going to hold all of your thoughts. Ah, every last one of them. They're so extra when you're doing such a good job getting all relaxed and sleepy. And they'll still be there tomorrow. So I'm just going to take them away. 
take them away one by one. <sighs> That feels so much better. I'm just going to kiss them all away. Maybe kiss your hands. Mm, that was a tasty one. You had all these big balls in your hand. Mm, all these things on your mind. Now you don't. You couldn't think. Even if you wanted to. <laughs> to try to remember, you just get bliss. <laughs> the feeling of relaxation swallows you. You're turning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kissing you, stupid. I'm kissing your forehead. I'm holding you close to me. And I'll let you hold on to one little thought, one little idea I won't hurt. And you know, if it's the only one you've got, we can really let it sink in. I'm proud of you. That's it. That's the little thought I'm letting you keep. I'm so proud of you. Everything else just fades away. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. I'm proud of you. Such a little idea, and your mind is so mushy right now that you can't think any thoughts, but if you do, if you dream, sweetie, you only have one thought, and it's going to bloom into the sweetest dreams for you, baby. I'm proud of you.